it's really something, isn't it? I, I can't believe I'm so impressed. I saw this painting on television. It's been all over the world. To see it here in person. Yeah. You know, it took me three months to get tickets to this exhibition. I came in from the suburbs. Believe me, I don't come downtown for just anything. I wanted my husband Harry to come, but he doesn't much like modern art. He says to me, sure, I don't know much about art, but I know what I hate. <laughs> mind when you're looking at modern paintings. They say it's not going to look like what it really is. Does that mean it's going to look like what it isn't? <laughs> you know, I read before that sometimes museums hang their modern paintings upside down by mistake. <laughs> it could happen. I had a painting in my hallway for 12 years. I thought the red square belonged on the top. It turns out it belonged on the bottom. I know. I read that the artist said his whole career led up to making this painting. So this is a verklempt. What? A verklempt. Eric verklempt, the artist. I thought he was German. Turns out he's Austrian. You know, like the window shades? <laughs> there is so much to think about. When you study a painting like this, I always say, a room hung with paintings is like a room hung with thoughts. And right now, I'm thinking sausages Okay. 
if you have to be right all the time, you can have the last word. Well, it's a game I'm playing because you see, when I say that to him, I really get to have the last word. <laughs> I think of this installation as bringing forth unfounded fragments in which convention and a ready-made question are assumptions of the world through language and knowledge. My pinnacle work, Cosmos Unraveled, proposes a secret history of stereotypical differences which are hidden in plain sight. Now that's a statement. <laughs> I wonder if he made it before or after he painted it. <laughs> now this is interesting. The title, Cosmos Unraveled. I wonder why he thought he had to unravel the cosmos. Well, that's an artist's mind for you. I just love talking about art, don't you? It's so, it's so artistic. <laughs> I think. I, oh, I haven't looked at the museum plaque. I wonder what they have to say about this painting. The juxtaposition of radical and conservative forces in Cosmos Unravel make a distinction between society and culture. These elements should not be confused by the viewer. They may seem reactionary, yet in this particular work, there is much more to be made of dynamic sexual polymorphism. <laughs> <laughs> Rembrandt 